Paul, thank you so much for being at ID Tech X and giving this wonderful talk. And uh, I was amazed uh, that in spite of all these years, the technology is relatively mature. There are still people waiting in line, like 20 people, and uh, uh, wanting to ask further questions. Oh, you're welcome, Sri. I appreciate the opportunity and the invitation to come speak. I had a lot of fun. It was actually uh, always uh, exciting and fun to present uh, about e-ink and about e-ink technology to a group like that. And, just the energy level after with the questions uh, and with the swarm of people asking questions uh, shows that uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, interest, uh, not only uh, in e-ink technology, but just in general about displays and other uh, applications like that. Well, uh, in spite of the fact that I follow e-ink closely, I also learned some new things from your talk. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, the world knows e-ink as an e-reader company uh, being the number one in that space. You talked about a number of uh, new and interesting technologies. Uh, for those people that didn't attend the talk, and uh, uh, would you mind elaborating on some of that? Particularly, um, let's start with the signage displays that mm -hmm. uh, you talked about, 32-inch sign, um, uh, signage product, and then you talked about that market. And please tell us what are your aspirations for that market. Uh, a couple of comments about signage. We're very excited about signage and very high on the potential for e um, We have been showing products uh, such as the 32-inch sign, both black and white in color, uh, at recent trade shows, and we have uh, collaborations going on with uh, our uh, partner GDS uh, to fully ruggedize for outdoor signage applications. So uh, we're really uh, excited about the possibilities and working with a number of customers to test and qualify uh, both black and white in color uh, for a commercial application. Excellent. And um, what are some attributes that you're um, highlighting uh, on your signage display versus traditional LCD? Yeah, I think there's a couple areas, Sri, that uh, we're highlighting. One, of course, is uh, readability outdoors. Uh, we showed uh, today the 32-inch signs plus some large segmented pricing signs. Uh, and the readability of that uh, technology in sunlight and outdoors is exceptional. Also, the low power and total cost of ownership that the sign system uh, can offer to end customers once it's fully integrated for outdoor applications is uh, also very attractive uh, uh, feature, if you will, and attribute of the technology. Um, you also, in your talk, you talked about and you showed uh, images and videos of a tricolor display, black, white, and red. Uh, and you also show, uh, showed us, um, uh, I think, they, I guess they were signs, right, for uh, a retail petroleum was the example that yes. you used. Yeah. Um, do you see those kinds of applications uh, being a big part of e ink in the future? Uh, I do, Sri, and that application uh, as well is for an outdoor sign system. And in that case, it's really black and white for the pricing display. You can then show and integrate other standard corporate logos or uh, regular printed signs, if you will. Uh, to give you a complete operating system in that example that was shown. Um, we're you know, still looking at other ways to bring our low power displays uh, to, to the market and that's one example that uh, we're excited about today. And I could sense in your talk you are very excited about this architectural yes, uh, yes. Uh, product. And uh, that's not even quite a display type application. Right? It takes you into a whole other area. You're now creating art. Yes. Uh, so tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I'd be glad to. Architecture is certainly a, a new step for e -Ink. And back in January, we announced that uh, e -Ink is getting into this area of business to sort of leverage our ink technology and our color technology uh, into, it's not even, like you said, displays. It's really media and a dynamic film that changes uh, and changes color. And you can change patterns and we can program it and we can do other things that take advantage of the low power, uh, the easy to see, uh, and the scale and the large format that's possible with the ink rolls uh, and make larger size. Uh, it could be for artistic uh, installations, it could be for panels, uh, it could be for wall elements. You know, there's really the, the sky's the limit. And I showed a few concepts today as well as some actual working prototypes. Yeah, these larger uh, displays means more ink, more film, which is a very good thing for any company in the uh, uh, display space. Um, so, uh, from an ID Tech X perspective, you're here, you gave the talk. Uh, what is your message for those of uh, those folks who are not here? Yep. What did you learn? What, what do you think other people would benefit if they showed up in events like this, attended talks, went to the seminars, went to the exhibits, and that kind of thing? Yeah. Uh, 
It's interesting. I haven't given a presentation before at ID Tech, Tech, Tech X, um, but I was pleasantly surprised. It was really well attended, even for a late afternoon, last talk of the day uh, uh, position uh, in the lineup, and people were very engaged, uh, very interested in the technology. And I think it's a reflection not just of the ink, it's certainly a reflection, I think, of uh, how people think about the ID Tech X uh, show. Uh, they're really here to learn, they're here to network, they're here to sort of understand what's going on in the industry and appear to be very open to you know, all types of uh, technologies. As you can see from the agenda today, there was maybe six or seven concurrent talks that all were well attended. Wonderful. Paul, thank you so much. We'd love to have you back Great. next year too. It's always good to see you. Thank you for being back.